This robot is going to take people's jobs, and that's because it was programmed by ChatGPT. And the robot itself is designed to also replace other people's jobs. We start with a homemade circular saw, which is absolutely terrifying. Seriously, watch this thing kick back at me. Well, I'm being a moron in running it without a blade guard. <laughs> I did make sure to power it with an actual power tool battery to stay with the theme of the build. And while it may look absolutely dangerous, you can rest assured that I've got this little red safety switch. They should keep us all safe. Remember, don't try this at home. I am a trained professional. Did I also mention that we're gonna slap this thing on an RC car and drive it around? And as you might expect, it handles terribly, but it does handle, and that's all we can ask for. That's cool and all, but if we really want to replace people with AI, we need to dig a little bit deeper. Now, I've always wanted a robot that can edge my lawn for me, and GPS control is not quite precise enough. To follow such a fine line is demonstrated by my automated food delivery project. But it can get us within a few centimeters, at which point some robot smarts will take over to do the rest, I think. So I asked ChatGPT, how can I make make a robot that uses an Arduino for control and a servo for steering follow a line. I already knew I wanted a homemade circular salt that was hanging off the end of a stick on a slide table positioned by a 3D printed rack and pinion. This is the technology of the future. And the position of this homemade circular saw is controlled by an Arduino and a few sensors hanging out down there near the blade. And when I asked ChatGPT how can I make this work, it actually gave me code that was commented out, it explained how it works, and it gave me directions on how to actually hook this hardware up. Software engineers, your days are numbered. And I'll show you why. Let's go test this thing and see just how smart ChatGPT actually is. This is our high-tech test track, and all it's got to do is make sure this blade here follows the line so it doesn't go haywire. Because you can see as I make seemingly small steering corrections, it just swings the blade all over the place and will absolutely destroy it on the concrete. And with this first round, it really wasn't quite fast enough for me to be comfortable with a homemade circular saw hanging off of a stick. And that's because ChatGPT originally recommended photo resistors, which I don't think are registering fast enough. But it also gave me a recommendation for a potential improvement, which was to go from these photo resistors to an actual IR sensor. So we're gonna plug these up and see how much better they work. Now this thing still isn't responding remotely fast enough for what we wanna do with it. And I think it might be because the servo actually isn't getting enough power. So I'm gonna see if its own power source can get us over this hump. <laughs> Oh man, that's definitely much faster pace. So it looks like it was certainly a power issue. You can see if it's online and then it goes over. I can turn side to side and it corrects. That's exactly what we want to see, sort of. I mean, it's approximating the line, but the problem is I don't want to approximate the line. I want it to follow a lot closer. Which brings me to another point. ChatGPT also recommended another improvement if I ran into challenges, and that was a PID loop. <laughs> If you can't tell, the PID loop that it gave me is complete garbage and it's not doing at all what it's supposed to. So we probably have a sensor problem. But after experimenting on these guys for a few minutes, we got stable code. So you can see when it's centered on the line, it doesn't sense anything dark. As soon as it hits it, it tries to balance its way back over. And when it balances, it stops. And then it'll follow this line if we move in a straight. There's still some oscillations going on, but I think that has a lot to do with the front wheels just wiggling way too much. So that's close enough to strap this thing on an RC car and make ourselves a robotic lawn edge. The first thing I couldn't wait to actually test was if it can cut grass at all. And it did a wonderful job actually cutting through this dead brown grass because I'm filming this in the middle of winter. Soon it was time to shut it down and see if we can actually follow a line. And it didn't. It didn't do anything actually. Then I remembered that when I was pulling out of the garage, I bottomed out and scraped on the 
driveway. And upon inspecting the sensors, I had completely demolished them, but luckily I had extras. And after swapping them out, we were a resounding success. Look at how well this beautiful piece of engineering follows the line. And because there's no actual living grass to cut, I had to cut something. So I got some old moldy bread, some old expired eggs, and we had a little bit of fun. Even with this, watch it tracking the line while it slices my toast perfectly. Programmers, you have been replaced. Landscapers, you have been replaced. Artificial intelligence is here to save the day by making humans increasingly obsolete. I'm just kidding, all the important data is proprietary and well protected.